What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Contemporary Comrades Podcast. Uh, it's your boy, Heavy J. And man, oh man, do I have a couple of stories for you all. <laughs> do I have a couple of stories for you? So um, what we've got is Mitch McConnell and Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi's houses both vandalized following, you guessed it, the stimulus relief bill and not getting them damn $2,000 checks. <laughs> let's uh let, let's look into this a little bit man so so this is from the courier journal this is uh this is a louisville uh louisville kentucky is where mitch mcconnell's from obviously um it's a local paper uh so it says here united states senate majority leader mitch mcconnell's home was vandalized early saturday morning following his blocking of two thousand dollar stimulus checks for the third time uh to most americans uh, messages like where's my money and other explicatives were written with spray paint across the front door in bricks of the Kentucky Republicans Highlands residence. Uh, McConnell said in a statement Saturday morning that he spent most of his career fighting for the First Amendment and defending peaceful protest. I appreciate every Kentuckian who's engaged in the democratic process, whether they agree with me or not. This, however, is different. He continued vandalism and the politics of fear have no place in our society. And he concludes, uh, my wife and I have never been intimidated by this toxic playbook. We just hope our neighbors in Louisville aren't too inconvenienced by this radical tantrum. So he seemed pretty, you know, unscathed by it. Let's look at some of the pictures, shall we? So we've got there, where's my money? It says, uh, fuck something. I don't know what that says. Uh, we've got some nice dogs. Oh, where's my money? <laughs> Mitch kills poor. Okay. Yeah, I would have thought he would have been living a little more lavishly than that. I mean, he only got eight. Like, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess he's old. Just, I don't know. Interesting. Maybe his money's all tied up in, in assets. Yeah, I don't know. That's interesting. So, that, so that's Mitch. That's his situation. Uh, we haven't gotten to Nancy's yet, and that one is the, probably the more, uh, how do you say, um... Uh, I'm trying to think of the best word for that. I'd say probably that's the more um, shocking, if you will, of the two. Um, yeah, man. So, do you, do you all? First off, do you all think that these are actually? You know, I'm, before I even get into them, let's let's get into Nancy's. Let's get into Nancy's. So right here, Nancy Pelosi's San Francisco home vandalized overnight on New Year's Day. So a, a, a home in San Francisco belonging to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi was vandalized for early Friday morning with an apparent reference to lawmakers' failed efforts <laughs> to provide Americans with $2,000 COVID-19 relief checks. The graffiti was on, found on the garage door of Pelosi's home overnight with the phrases 2K, cancel rent, and we want everything. Um, as early as Friday afternoon, the garage door was covered with black garbage bags. Um, interesting. Let's, uh, let, let's play a video here and see what they say graffiti with the phrases 2k cancel rent and we want everything covered speaker nancy pelosi's garage door on the sidewalk a disturbing image to many neighbors who woke up to this a pig's head and fake blood i don't think that this is a useful way to go about it and it's a terrible start to this new year the vandals message alluding to failed efforts to provide americans with a two thousand dollar stimulus check government should be doing all they can to give people assistance security cameras cover nancy pelosi's home on the street guards like fred kennerly with a private security company hired specifically to protect several residents in this affluent neighborhood is she one of the clients no <laughs> No, she has, she has her own security. It's still unclear if Nancy Pelosi was home at the time of the vandalism. But this guard says this is not the first time these attacks take place. Last time that where they hung all the, uh, uh, the dry, hair dryers and stuff in the tree or whatever. We contacted the San Francisco the FBI the office and they I've responded in that. part. In keeping with the DOJ policy, we cannot confirm or deny specific FBI activity or the existence of investigations. San Francisco police <laughs> officers responded to a call of vandalism outside of Nancy Pelosi's home around 2 a.m. It's still unclear if any arrests have been made in this case. In San Francisco, Luz Peña, ABC7 News. Interesting. Wow. So, 
Yeah, man. You've got Nancy and you've got Mitch McConnell's uh, houses that are vandalized. So my question is this. Knowing what we know about the powers that that be or the powers that should not be, whatever you want to call them, uh, one would argue that this could potentially be staged. Or this could be foreshadowing for what's to come in 2021. Because remember, there this is an agenda we're talking about here. There, it, it's got to be. There's got to be constant progression, right? So, to me, you've got the potential for this to be some sort of some sort of weird sort of let's get people riled up. Or this is this is or this could be a genuine. Uh, these these could be two genuine uh, separate incidents happening on the same day. Or somebody could have driven coast to coast pretty much to do it in the same to do one new year's night and then do one saturday morning who knows right because it's funny that they both happen around the same time and uh they're and on separate sides of the country and one was clearly more you know kind of kind of gross i guess you could say than the other i don't know and, and honestly how many people in louisville kentucky are really doing stuff like that is another thing like i mean i've never been to louisville but it doesn't strike me as the type of place to have that sort of uh you know backlash from people i guess you could say I, but i don't know i could be wrong I haven't, i've never been to louisville my sister said it was cool that's all i know <laughs> but uh yeah man this this seems something about this is odd and and i think honestly in 2021 i think we can probably expect to see a lot more of this politician attacking over specific things i think i think that this is just you know what's going what what we're going to see more of here in 2021 um people are going to be begging for things from the government which they'll give them but just not as much as they want so then they'll start to do things to the government which would then provoke the government to do other things to us because that's again you create the problem you create the reaction you create solution this is the this is the formula you, you start in a pot and you mix you mix uh, gullible, scared, fearful Americans, and you stir it all together, and that's what you get. So I don't know, man. Leave your thoughts down below. Just wanted to share this little bit of information. Uh, we've got people vandalizing politicians' homes now. So over over stimulus checks. So you know what I'm saying? Let, let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's your boy Heavy J of Contemporary Comrades. I'm signing out. Peace. <laughs>